greetings everyone and welcome to another video so in this video we'll be installing davinci resolve on arch linux so i'm using pure arch not kshos like i used to i'm using pure arch which is a breeze to use well with the latest 6.15 kernel it's working quite well on my system but this is the first time i use pure arch I was a big, big, big user of KCOS for the whole year last year until it updated to 66.14 and then I started having some few issues here and there. But I'm back, I'm on Arch. So, install the DaVinci Resolve. Firstly, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need the DaVinci Resolve uh, zip file which has the installation file, the run file and the instructions. Do not extract them, just leave them in there as they are. So it I downloaded. So it means that um, you just have to go to the Blackmagic's website and download DaVinci Resolve for Linux, and then you'll be good to go. Well, not yet. One other thing that you're gonna need is the the as a git file. Uh, let's say you're gonna do DaVinci Resolve for Arch Linux, and then you go to the Arch Wiki. Then move around here and then as you can see here for the free version install DaVinci Resolve AUR or DaVinci Resolve Beta AUR we do not need the beta we need DaVinci Resolve so even if, if you have the studio version you can come here to get the studio version and do what you need to do all the steps are the same the difference is that is that after installing the studio version you need to input your license key blah 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 stuff like that easy peasy all right so let's click uh, davinci resolve it will take you to the aur whereby you just copy the clone url and then you need to open your terminal and then type get clone then you paste the command you press enter it's gonna clone it and then it's done so for those of you who installed arch linux for the first time and didn't install extra packages you're gonna have a problem with the git command it will refuse to do it so what you're gonna need to do is sudo pacman s git then you do your password then it will install it so in this case mine is already installed because the first time i ran this i had a problem here whereby git wouldn't run because it was not there to begin with so it's there you can just update it and install it and then that's it i can close the website so right now what you need to do right here is let's open where the git is it's at home and then here's the folder DaVinci resolve so you're gonna need to copy this zip file as it is do not extract it copy the zip file as it is and then you paste it in here because uh the script's gonna require this to be in to be able to to do what it needs to do so after doing that you can close this and then you right click in here and then you open the terminal from here open the terminal you can type ls to see what's in there there they are the package build is there that's what we need so what you're gonna do is type make package dash si and then you press enter and then I'm gonna type your password. It's gonna install extra repositories there, some OpenCL drivers for NVIDIA for for your various graphics cards. So be careful here. Don't just press enter. Number one is Intel uh, compute runtime. Number two is Intel One API. Number three is OpenCL Mesa. Number four is OpenCL NVIDIA. The number five is Rockum OpenCL runtime. So I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, which is a GTX 1060. So it means I'm gonna press option number four for OpenCL NVIDIA. If you're using um, AMD, I think you're gonna use OpenCL Mesa. Then for Intel integrated uh, stuff and the uh, ARC GPUs. So I'm, in my case, I'm using OpenCL. I'm selecting OpenCL NVIDIA since I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, which is option number four. Then I press enter. Then it's still installing some other things here. Here I don't have a problem. I can just choose the default one. And then extra packages. Let's go. Get them in. And 
there we go so it's gonna take you a little while and whenever it asks for your password just type in your password and let it continue okay as you can see here it needs my password which i must input and then let it continue so now it's gonna install the davinci resolve since the package is here it's it's been extracted and compiled in a way that the script will be able to install it so just press enter to let it do its thing all right so guys the installation has been completed all the steps are done so i can close up these things so i don't longer need them davinci resolve is installed i can pin it on the task manager i'm gonna need it over here then you can open it and no issues whatsoever i remember when i installed it on KSHOS, the last time i had a, an issue about the key my keyboard wouldn't type anything my keyboard was just um useless i can say <laughs> i can say so here with this one everything is here um let's see i might click on search as you can see the keyboard is working there i couldn't even type anything on the search bar or none whatsoever so here's davinci resolve working fine on davinci i'm on not on davinci but on cash on arch linux i'm so used to cash because i use kqs for a long time so this is how you get davinci resolve installed in arch linux if that issues and one thing that you're going to need is handbrake because um, there are some few codec issues with the free version under Linux. So you're going to need handbrake to transcode some of your files from your camera or your phone to make them compatible with um, DaVinci Resolve so that, it, so that it can be able to process them. So from Magitech and Gaming, until next time, guys, peace.